Properly installing battery posts is easy with the proper tools, so let's get started. We'll be using one gauge battery cable, side post battery terminals, and epoxy lined heat shrink. We'll also be using tools from our production facility, including a cable cutter, a ring slit tool, a high leverage crimper, and a heat tool. We'll start by measuring the cable to the proper length and then cut it using our cable cutters. Our high leverage cable cutter eliminates damage to the internal conductors and cleanly cuts up to four op battery cable. With our cable cut, we'll move on to stripping the insulation. Once we know the correct amount of insulation to remove, we'll use our ring slit tool and start by setting the blade depth to match the insulation thickness. Now, we'll place the tool over the cable and work it around several times. Once we've cut through the insulation, we'll turn the blade using the lever and work the tool toward the end of the cable. This makes removing the insulation much easier. The ring slit tool is built for reliability and repeated use. It can cut through insulation up to 1 8 inch thick and carries a spare replacement blade in the base. Before we add the battery post, let's slide the heat shrink on first as it's narrower than the post itself. With the insulation removed and the heat shrink in place, we'll put the battery post over the end of the cable, making sure that the barrel of the post butts up to the insulation. Now we'll use the high leverage crimper. After adjusting the setting to match our battery post size, we'll make sure to fully close the tool, creating a superior connection point. This crimper can handle both lugs and posts and crimps connectors from 6 gauge to 4 aught. Once complete, we'll inspect our crimp for accuracy, making sure there's no gaps between the post and the insulation. Now, we'll slide the epoxy line heat shrink up and over the connection point. In order to properly activate the heat shrink, let's turn to our heat gun. It's important to keep the heat gun at a safe distance and move it back and forth in consistent motions. This heat tool is compact and lightweight and can reach temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. There you have it. We've just created an environmentally sealed connection that can handle the toughest marine environments out there. You'll find the tools and parts you've seen here at pacergroup.net.